On today's episode of In Season, we are celebrating the tail end of grapefruit season. So get them before they're gone. Now, if you're not a fan of grapefruit, it might be that you've been eating it out of season all along. And if you are a fan of grapefruit, then you're in luck, because today I'm gonna show you grapefruit three delicious ways. We're going to get started today with my broiled brown sugar grapefruit. Then I'm going to show you an incredible grapefruit and avocado salad with sweet citrus dressing. And finally, we're going to wrap things up with some grapefruit and ginger glazed salmon that you are going to love. Let's get started with my very simple, but very delicious, broiled brown sugar grapefruit. What I love about making my grapefruit this way is that it brings out a lot of the natural sweetness in the grapefruit and the brown sugar cuts through the bitterness, making it the perfect morning treat. So all I'm going to do is start by slicing a grapefruit in half. Then using a sharp paring knife, I'm going to cut along each of the membranes to help release the pieces of grapefruit. Now this isn't an essential step, but it will make it much easier to eat in the long run. Then it's just a matter of sprinkling some brown sugar on the top of each half and putting these in the oven. We're going to broil these on high for two or three minutes or until that sugar starts to caramelize. I like to eat these hot out of the oven with a spoon. They make one delicious breakfast. Next up, we've got a glorious grapefruit and avocado salad with a sweet citrus dressing. I'm going to start by cutting off the top and the bottom of each of my grapefruits and then running my knife along the sides to remove the peel. Next, I'm going to carefully run my knife along the sides of each membrane, releasing the segments as I go. Once the segments have all been removed, I'm going to set them aside and then juice what's left of my grapefruit. I'm going to use this grapefruit juice as the base for my sweet citrus dressing. For my dressing, I'm going to combine my grapefruit juice with some freshly squeezed lime juice, a good drizzle of honey, some olive oil, and some salt and pepper. I'm going to whisk it together and set it aside while I assemble my salad. For this salad, I'm using arugula because I love the combination of the peppery arugula with the creamy avocado and the bitter sweet grapefruit. It makes a killer combination. So I've got my arugula in a bowl and I'm just going to top it with some fresh avocado slices, my grapefruit segments, my sweet citrus dressing, and finally some crunchy sunflower seeds. And this salad is ready to serve. Finally, I'm going to show you my sweet and spicy grapefruit and ginger glazed salmon. If that doesn't sound delicious to you, don't knock it until you've tried it. We're getting started today with some beautiful salmon fillets and all I'm going to do is season them liberally with some salt and pepper. Into the oven they go at 375 until they're cooked through. In the meantime, I am going to get started on my grapefruit ginger glaze. So in a small saucepan, I'm starting with some freshly squeezed grapefruit juice. This is definitely a place for freshly squeezed, not store-bought. We are celebrating grapefruit season after all. To my grapefruit juice, I'm going to be adding some freshly grated ginger, some brown sugar, and some red chili flakes. I'm going to bring this flavorful concoction to a boil and let it reduce by at least two thirds. That's how we're going to create our glaze. Next, I'm going to remove my salmon from the oven and spoon some of my glaze over each filet. I'm going to put it back in the oven and broil it for one to two minutes. You wanna keep a really good eye on it because you don't want your glaze to burn. I'm finishing off this gorgeous salmon with a little more glaze and some freshly chopped green onions. How amazing does this dish look? It's sweet and spicy and incredibly flavorful and I hope you love it as much as I do. I hope you'll give these tasty recipes a try and if you do, be sure to tweet or Instagram me a photo because you know I love seeing what you're coming up with in your very own kitchens. And if you have a great idea for an upcoming episode of In Season, be sure to leave it in the comment section below. And finally, if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to The Domestic Geek because there is lots more deliciousness where this came from.